Hey guys, what's up? It's Ray, and welcome to my very, very first Ray DIY video. So for today's video, I am demonstrating how to make your own stone bowl. I have it right here, and it's actually really cool. It looks just like an actual stone, but it's actually really, really light. Don't do that because if you drop it, it's gonna break. Basically, I've seen this before at Anthropology, and if you guys have been to that store, you guys know that it's a store where you can possibly afford nothing. I'm pretty much broke, so I need to make my own stuff, and I kind of figured out how to make this, and it's pretty cool. Um, I was really happy with how it turned out. So now, let's begin making this bowl. And for this DIY project, you will need DAP plaster or cement, spray paint, but this is optional, water, two mixing bowls, or two plastic containers, a balloon or balloons, depending on how many bowls you would want to make, and also some takeout chopsticks or a heavy duty stir stick. First video on this channel and I'm already screwing up. My camera died because I've been filming the whole day and now I'm filming this video, so Bear with me, I'm using a point and shoot right now. A handheld camera, totally crazy. I'm sorry about this. First, blow up your balloon to the size of your palm or to roughly a six inch diameter. I find this size to be the best size for making a bowl. Next up is making the plaster mixture. It's actually quite easy. The ratio is two cups of plaster to one cup of water. In this case, since it's not a large project, I'm only using half a cup of water and one cup of plaster. You can always dust in a few drops of plaster as you're mixing to give it a thicker base. Next, pour your water into the plaster formula gently while stirring. Stir for about 2-3 to three minutes until the mixture looks gooey and thick. The outside should look wet and watery, but the inside is actually thick paste. Next, you can take your balloon and prop it up on your empty mixing bowl from holding water earlier. And then take a small scoop of mixture and smear on top of the balloon. Start building your base of the bowl first and then work your way out. It's good to start with little first so the plaster can dry as you proceed. And now, start sculpting your plaster into a bowl. Don't worry about smoothing it out because you want the stone to look realistic with rough edges. Although you shouldn't worry about smoothing the surface, do remember to thicken your bowl as you coat it so the bowl can hold weight later. After your design is finished and you are satisfied with the look, let it dry for 20 to 25 minutes. In the meantime, make yourself a sandwich or watch some TV. Alright, so the bowl is dry and it's actually really amazing. You can hear the sound. Okay, so you are ready to get poppin'. And now it's finally time to pop the balloon. Take your balloon with the bowl attached and set it on the base of the bowl. Take a sharp object or a needle and pop the balloon. I'm actually really scared of balloons popping, so this might be the hardest part for me, but for you guys it might be easiest. Here we go. I can't... <laughs> the balloon should come right off and now you can embellish or decorate your bowl however you want. I wanted to keep most of the rugged edges to resemble a stone bowl, but I also wanted to look a little bit more expensive, so I chose to use gold spray paint. And that is it for this DIY. Ta-da! And now you have your very own expensive looking gold slash stone cool, very, very masculine type of uh, centerpiece for display or for storage or anything you want. Like I personally would keep my knickknacks in here because I have no other places to put it. This is the perfect thing to have at home and mm, make stuff and put stuff in. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm out of words to say, so 
Also, if you make this bowl as well, make sure to post a pic on Instagram and tag me in it. Alright, so that is it for this DIY video. I hope to see you in the next video. And please subscribe and stick around because this is a journey I really want to take with you guys. And I'm so excited. And I'll see you guys in the next video.